Welcome to On Our Shelf. Today what I have is a full review of the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. So in case you missed my unboxing video earlier, here it is again in 8 seconds. So basically all that comes in the box is the tablet itself, a USB cable slash charger cable, it's an all-in-one, power adapter, and a whole bunch of manuals. Alright, so first off, let's talk about the overall design of the tablet. Let's start with the screen. It features a 10.1 inch screen, which features full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. As far as thickness, this tablet is 6.9 millimeters thick and weighs 495 grams. Now right here we have our micro USB port. And right here we have our micro SD card slot. Also on the bottom as well are two speakers on each side. On the top of the tablet, we also have an IR window so that this tablet can be used as a remote control. It comes with a nice little remote control app which I'll demonstrate later on. On the side we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume rock controls, power button, and a notification indicator light. Now on the back of the tablet, we have an 8.1 megapixel camera. And as far as the back of the tablet, it has a matte black finish. It's kind of smooth. Uh, I like it, but as you can see, it's definitely not fingerprint resistant. And up front, we have a two megapixel front facing camera for face chatting. All right, so when you power this thing on for the first time, you're greeted by a Sony logo, along with this cool graphic. And then from there, you can go ahead and unlock the screen. It has this cool blinds effect when you go ahead and swipe it up or down. After you unlock it, it takes you through a pretty standard setup procedure. Things like date, time, Wi-Fi, enable location data, stuff like that. Pretty standard stuff when you first set up any type of tablet or a smartphone for that matter. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs of this tablet. The current OS is Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. It features a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor with two gigs of RAM. Internal storage is 16 gigabytes on this one, but you can get it with up to 32 gigabytes. The Wi-Fi is 802.11, Bluetooth 4.0, and battery life, 10 hours of video playback, up to eight hours of web browsing. And it features an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. All right, so now let's talk about the operating system itself. It runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which works really, really good. Um, they got this one pretty well nailed down pretty good. In terms of the way it actually works with the system, I mean, there wasn't many uh, stutters, uh, many freezes at all. It moved pretty seamlessly. And if you owned an Android operating system before, then this will be very familiar to you. There's a few custom options that Sony put into the tablet, but not much for the most part. It's your standard Android 4.1 operating system, um, but it worked really, really well and no complaints here. I mean, it's cust totally customizable, just like Android users like it. However, Sony does has it customized a little bit to fit their taste more, such as the way you play music. They have their own Walkman app. They also have their own app store, the way movies are played, but we'll get into all that later. But as you can see, I'm just browsing through some of the menus, changing some of the wallpapers. And they have a nice selection of wallpapers and themes right off the back that comes with the tablet. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and play with the widgets app, which with pretty much all Android operating systems, you can customize and put stuff wherever you want it. Uh, it's pretty neat. And like I said, it all works really, really well. So Jelly Bean is a great operating system. If you're familiar with it, then this tablet will be great for you right off the back. So all in all, this operating system is definitely one of the highlights of this tablet. They have it pretty nailed down with 4.1. And the fact that Sony did not put a lot of bloat on this tablet right out of the box. Pretty much every app that it comes with is, I want to say, useful. There's a few things, but for the most part, everything's useful that it comes with. All right, so now let's talk about the display. It features a 10.1-inch reality display with Bravia Engine 2 and a wide set color spectrum. Uh, screen resolution is 1920 by 1200 which is 1080p HD, unlike the last Sony tablet. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion. As of today, this is one of the best screens I've seen on any tablet to this day. No joke. Um, the blacks look really good, and the resolution is obviously higher than the last Sony tablet, but this screen, hands down, is probably the best one out there. This video isn't going to do it any justice at all. All right, let's get to the sound. So we're going to go straight to the Walkman app for that, but we'll show a few video clips as well. So as I said earlier, to my knowledge, there are two speakers at the bottom of this tablet. However, there are four slots that they come out of, and that is to prevent you from blocking one of the speakers if you're holding it from a certain direction, which is a really good feature. And I'll just get to the point here. The speakers are definitely above average. Very good. Japan, 
So I think they're a little bit above what you expect from a tablet. And no, you are not going to get any base out of them. All right, so let's talk about the camera. As I said earlier, it has an 8.1 megapixel rear camera, which takes pretty decent photos. And video quality is pretty good also. Here's some sample shots that I took earlier. And as you can see, the uh, camera app has plenty of features to play around with special effects and such. But here's some video shots, that, oh, photo shots that I took earlier. Now here's the video quality that I recorded with the device. And not only is this device dust resistant, it's also water resistant. It can be put in up to three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. So I had to record some video out in the rain. And while we're on the subject of waterproof, yes, this tablet is waterproof. Here's a shot of me putting it inside of my fish tank and the fish watching an actual video while it's in there. And no harm was done to the tablet at all. And to see the full video of the water test, click here. Now, once you've taken all your pictures and videos, the way you swipe through them is with the swipe of a finger, just like this. You can pinch and zoom to zoom in on the pictures, make them bigger or smaller. And this is how you browse through your album. Just simply browse up and down and hit play if you want to see a live video of one of your videos. Now, the web browsing feature is pretty nice as well. In this example, I'm using Google Chrome. As you can see, I'm just typing in Sony.com. I'm going to go to their default website. Um, works pretty good, pretty seamlessly. No flaws here. Um, it's a pretty much standard Google Chrome web browser on end. Android device works really well. I'm currently using Wi-Fi while I'm browsing this page. However, I browsed some pages earlier that use some high data, um, a little bit of freezing, but nothing major. All right, now let's talk about Sony's App Store, which they call the Play Store. I like it a lot. It has plenty of features in it, plenty of uh, things to download. You have a category for apps, games, movies and TVs, music, books, and magazines. So let's go ahead and check out games here. And I had read an earlier post about how certain things download slow in the app store. I didn't find that problem at all. I had downloaded quite a few things and I didn't have any problems with slow downloading. Uh, for example, here, let's go ahead and pick a game right here. Um, here's the Hobbit and you just simply hit install. And this isn't a very, you know, um, it's only 32 megabytes, so it's not a very heavy game, but as you can see, it's moving pretty fast and this is on a Wi-Fi network. All right, it says installing, and then, and if you look in the bottom right corner, it just finished. And here's the music category. There's plenty of artists on here, and it's a pretty good um, music store, so there's no shortage of uh, artists on here at all. If you want to try out a track before you buy, you just simply tap it, and like I said, um, so far my load times have been pretty fast, even for downloading. All right, so now let's go to the movie category. It's pretty much the same thing as the music category. Just simply, well, there's a whole bunch of movies to look at. Just simply tap a trailer to get a preview of what it looks like. 
all right let's talk about the fun stuff games games work really well on this tablet this is one of the best tablets to play games on one because it's very light and two the graphics the display works really well And here's one of my favorite features, the IR remote, um, because a lot of us sit down and watch TV while we're on an iPad or iPod or whatever tablet we're using at the time, and we have to grab the remote to change the channel. Well, with this thing, you, it has a built-in IR sensor, so you can go ahead and change the channel from the tablet, and it's very, very simple to set up. You just simply select the TV, and that's really it, and it works seamlessly. And another important feature that I'm going to cover on this tablet is the Books app. It works perfectly on this tablet. One, because this tablet is so light. And for anyone who owns an e-reader, we like our e-readers to be very light. And you have an e-reader in this tablet, and you also have a full-blown computer. So you can't go wrong with this combination. Here's a demonstration of how it works. Okay, so my overall opinion of this tablet is I give it a 9 out of 10. Sony definitely did a great job with this tablet. Everything that was wrong with the last tablet, they fixed it with this one. In fact, there's just two things that prevent me from giving this tablet a perfect 10. The first one is those flaps you have to remove and put back every time you want to insert a SD card or a headphone jack. I have a feeling that over time they might lose their water resistantness because you keep moving them, they might wear down. And as a result, the tablet won't be as waterproof. It's just a feeling I have might happen, but I could be wrong. And the last thing is the picture quality of the camera. For the five and six hundred dollars that you're going to pay for this tablet, I think the picture quality should be much better. But a lot of people disagree with me on this one. So that's been a review of the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. Thanks for watching.